trade deadline, all that stuff. You know, we know what we have. You know, we, we know what we have in this locker room. Um, guys understand that. You know, we feel like we have the pieces. Um, you know, obviously, uh, it's out of our control. Um, you know, we're always trying to, uh, you know, do things to make our football team better, um, whether if it's bringing in guys or, or, or you know, whatever it may be. But, um, you know, we, we already knew, you know, going in to the last couple of days that, you know, we have enough in this locker room. Well, against the screen, you guys had some trouble against Philadelphia. When it comes to defending that, you know, it, it seems like some of that, I don't want to put the responsibility somewhere else, but how much do you need the guys up front to be able to be a factor in that, not just leave it as a, you know, secondary linebacker defensive play, even though it's a pass play? Uh, it, it takes everybody, to be honest, and not just the D-line. You know, D-line, obviously, rushing the passer, um, seeing the ball come out. Obviously, the linemen having soft, you know, being soft and letting them run past and retracing. Um, but, it, you know, the, the back seven, it's also on them, too to uh, recognize it, um, you know, get it forced back inside. Uh, obviously, if you're, if you're letting it go down the sideline, it's, that's, you know, D linemen aren't going to make it to, to that. But, uh, you know, it's the back seven, forcing it back inside. And from there, the, the defense line is able to retrace. So it's, it, it honestly is a, um, a, you know, total defensive effort to, to, to attack a screenplay. How much of a concern is it? You know, they, you had a big one against Tennessee. The Bengals got you once. And obviously, Philly did it a few times. You know, you guys play a little more man-to-man -man this year. I know I'm, if you had an answer for it, you'd have figured it out. You'd have done it already. But, you know, is, is there something you're looking at saying, you know, why this is working on you so much? Yeah, we're, we're attack defense. Um, you know, it's – I don't want to call it a compliment because they're getting – you know, they're getting those plays on us. But, you know, it's kind of a compliment when, when uh, you know, they, they run a lot of screens against us because they know that, you know, our guys up front are able to get after the quarterback. So what you do is you combat that with screens and stuff, try to slow them down. Um, which, you know, we've, we've given up some things, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a totally, it's not just on the D-line, it's not just on the linebackers or secondary, it's a total defensive effort, and, you know, that's why we've been, you know, practicing them, and um, they're going to continue to happen. We're, we're attack defense, you know, they're, they're going to continue to happen. It's just on us to, uh, to get them down and fight to live another day. Is it almost to the point where you, you live with it because of all the good you get oh, out no, of the no, attack? You, you, can't, yeah. you can't live with uh, mm -hmm. those, big, those big pass plays. Um, you know, a lot of them last week came in second and long. Uh, and they were able to uh, to pick up some first down. So you, you definitely can't live with it. You know, we've we've been uh, you know, watching a lot of film and, and discussing it. So we'll we'll get it corrected. It's just um, like I said, a total defensive effort. Hey, Michael, what's the, the mindset after a week like that? After you give up 31, it's not your best day, and now you're back in here. What what is the what's the bounce back mentality here? Uh, same mentality. Same mentality is going into it. Um, you know, this is an opportunity this week to go out there and showcase what we can do. Um, you know, one, one game doesn't define, you know, our, our, our season. Um, we understand that there's a lot of stuff and, you know, there's plenty of games, a lot of, a lot of things to uh, accomplish in the future. Um, but we just know it's going to be a process, take a day, at, you know, one day at a time. It starts here on this Wednesday practice and, and pads, and um, it's just an opportunity. We're not, we're not saying we're going to go out here and um, play the game on Wednesday. You know, we, we've all been playing football for a long time. I just asked, you know, one of our strength coaches, so how many practices do you think I've done in my whole life? Uh, it's been a lot. No one's panicking. No, you know, we've, we've been here before. And um, just like I said, another opportunity on Sunday. When you watch the film, I mean, I, obviously it's a combination of both of these things, but was it more their really good execution? Or do you guys think you left some plays with it? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah, you got you to give credit when credit's due. That's a good football team. We said that going in. Uh, I don't want to say I told you so because, you know, we didn't expect to, to lose the football game. But um, we knew that was a, a very good football team. That record didn't indicate. How well they, you know, how well they are, um, and so you got to give them credit. But at the same time, there's some things that we left out there, you know, whether it was run fits or communication or um, tackling or you know whatever it may be. You know, it's a little bit of both, and so that's why we're trying to get the, you know, the stuff that we can control our 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 side, um, trying to get that stuff corrected. Coach McDermott said you guys went back to basics this week. You know, you kind of had to reteach some things. Was this? Looking at the film, was it that upsetting to know that like we got to go back to square one, or is this a, hey, this was a one week, let's just forget it and go back to what we have done the first six weeks? Yeah, um, I, I don't know. It's, it, it, obviously, it's upsetting to lose. You know, anytime I watch film, even when we win games, and I'm watching film, and I'm sometimes I can't sleep at night knowing that some play, I left some plays out there. This is kind of just a, a nasty feeling, uh, nasty taste in your mouth after the game, just the way we lost giving up a lot of big plays, which we, you know, normally don't do. Um, so going back to the bases was good, man. It was refreshing. It was, you know, good to hear, um, you know, a lot of guys, after, you know, watching the film and communicating, uh, you know, while the play was going on. You know, we, we, we had guys that were just um, yelling out, you know, their jobs and doing all that stuff. So, it, you know, it's kind of like we were on the football field all over again and, and replaying those plays and trying to get it corrected that way. And so it was good to go back to the basics. Um, 
And at the same time, though, it was a 24-hour rule. We got to you know flush it and run this week. Did Lockham get a little boot, a little bit of a boost because they say to you guys, hey. We like the group we have? Uh, I mean, honestly, guys don't really even think about it. Um, mm -hmm. if, if our team makes a move, we make a move. If we don't, we don't. But it's not like that's a topic of conversation in our locker room uh, because we know um, that we have the talent in this room. And obviously, sometimes they make moves upstairs. Uh, but we don't really invest ourselves in that because that's stuff that we can't control. Is it anything different? I mean, it seems like the NFL trade line, especially with them moving it back a couple of weeks, has become more of a thing. It doesn't seem like you guys noticed that at all? Um, yeah, I would say, you know, there's more transactions now than it was early in my career, but that's not something that we, you know, as a team or guys worry about um, collectively or talk, talk about. I mean, it's probably always somebody, if you feel like you may be on the trade, the trading block, that you may talk to your agent, this could possibly happen. But on a collective level, it's not like we're in here discussing, uh, like, who, they, who you think they're going to get, or they didn't get nobody, so we must be good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's stuff that we can't control, so we don't, we don't uh, invest our time and energy into worrying about it. You guys had trouble against the screen against Philly, and how much of that is, you know, it's a pass play, so I think people think more back seven, it's responsible, but yeah. how it's much everybody. You, of course, but I mean, how much can the guys up front cutting that off at the head really make a difference? Because it seems like that is the best way to stop that play. Um, yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, it's all about the retrace, because obviously they're letting defense alignment go and trying to get to the second level and create mismatches with all O-line versus safeties and, and linebackers, you know, downfield. And so um, a lot of times it's, you know, obviously the second level slowing those guys down, making the running back indecisive. Uh, and then you add in the hustle from the defensive line to really be able to tackle that play. And we haven't been able to do that on a consistent basis uh, uh, this entire season. But again, that's something that we focused on. We watched the tape and uh, have to continue to have a, a, an awareness uh, situationally throughout the game. Um, obviously, last week, they started doing a lot more screens when they were going into the win. And I think just having a better awareness collectively of, of when teams want to do it, whether it's third and long or they have a certain formation they like to do it out of, um, gives you, um, um, I guess, a, a quicker reaction and, and maybe a step closer to where you're making the play instead of missing it. As you guys, as a one-gap scheme, you know, you think about having to retrace as a, a front four. Being a one-gap attacking scheme, is it a little harder for you guys to do that the way you play defense in general? No, I mean, obviously you're getting off the ball and we're attacking in, in upfield. Um, but at the same time, you have to have awareness about, okay, I'm not that great of a pass rusher. And so when you're running free majority of the time, it's because they're letting you go for a reason. And so at that point, you have to have, um, you know, good uh, retrace, good redirection, locate the ball, and, and, run, and try to run it down and play with great hustle. Coach talked about going back to fundamentals and reteaching the fundamentals this week. Watching the film, was it kind of alarming to, to kind of go back to basics, that you guys need to go back to basics? Or no, you, you, uh, we uh, preach fundamentals every single week. And uh, I think you always got to focus on the fundamentals and the basics of football because that is the lifeblood of everything else that you want to do. And anytime you start getting away from that um, and worrying just solely on scheme, you lose your one-on-one -on -one matchups. And at the end of the day, that's what football is all about, is man whooping a man. And the only way you can do that consistently is having great fundamentals, uh, great hands, great eyes. And those are the things that allow you to be dominant collectively when everybody's able to do that um, across the field and, and do that with their one-on-one -on -one matchups. So yesterday was the trade deadline, is what you're saying? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we know we have us as as players you know we know we have what we need in this room um or in this locker room so um i mean it definitely shows confidence that they didn't try to make a move i, I guess but um you know we don't worry about that as players we just approach it each day uh, day in and day out just trying to work to get better um and i feel like you know because we only we have nine new guys we still have tons of room to grow so um and i think they understand that as well and they understand that it takes time so um, adding another new guy would just maybe slow things down a little bit as well. So I mean, you can look at it from that perspective too. But um, you know, our job is just to show up and play and, and work each day to get better. I don't think we have gelled yet, but um, that's not to say it couldn't happen this week. You know what I mean? And I don't even know exactly what has to happen for us to say we're gelling. You know what I mean? But. Um, we're starting to get comfortable with everybody. Josh is starting to get comfortable with seeing us run routes and um, knowing what it looks like, our body language. So um, I don't know. That's just it. Just takes time, you know. Um, there's a lot of guys and connections in the league that have been doing it for 
um, multiple years together. So, I mean, we're trying to accomplish that and um, half halfway through the season. So, you know, we just got to keep working and eventually it'll come. Let me ask you a question about the passing game in general. It, you, you saw what Singletary did last week with, with the opportunity he got there. Is it wise to maybe get him more involved in space like that? Get him involved? Because he really hasn't been too involved in the pass game when he's played. Do you think maybe that will be a way to open some things up? Um, you know, I don't know. That's, that's not a question for me to answer. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't do the personnel or anything, and you know, I don't know exactly what goes on with the running backs in film either. So, um, but you know, we we know what type of player is, and he can definitely help us in a lot of ways, and that's why he's out there. So, um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'd be good, but I'm, I'm not sure.